it's Friday and uh, June 14th, I believe it is. Hi everybody. It's June 14th, it's Friday night again. Today after work I uh, <clears throat> I stopped by this uh, neighborhood, uh, it's, it's a, it's like a neighborhood community center, league kind of thing, and I volunteer there sometimes too, so um, I can use the shop actually, there's supposed to be like a, a minimum little drop amount of money or something, honorarium kind of thing, but they, whenever I go there they're like, no, you don't have to pay or whatever, which um, would be handy, I mean it is handy, but it would be fine if you had to pay anything a little bit too, so you don't have to buy all these tools, right, I used to have most every tools, saws and everything like they have there, but it I don't anymore and uh, I have been working on an idea and when I do that video how these, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's almost like an angle iron but it's not heavy heavy like steel and they have holes all in them. I got this idea from Static Camper Van because he has doesn't matter actually if he has a bigger van or smaller. He has similar size van than me, which are small vans, but the idea I guess you could use anywhere. But he screwed the this angle. When I make the video, you'll see it. But he screwed this to the side in the on each side, and then he he made some kind of uh, you know um, shelf for the wall, which uh, looks to be. A really good idea for storage anyway so I went the other day and I bought you know some pine boards and they were six feet long actually there's still one that I'm going to use for the fronts it's in the back beside my bed so I won't be able to use this shop until Tuesday so what I did is I cut them the other day before work I whipped over there and cut them to the links I want and then I have this idea you can see I kind of penciled it gonna round it here Around it there, and it goes down, and this is going to end up being on the wall like this, and then in here will be an area for storing things or whatever. And then there's going to be a little. I'm going to glue and screw in some other boards, uh, so that'll be another shelf. And this is, you know, obviously deeper, and this is not so deep here. I'm going to cut this off, and then. This is slimmer like this so that it can go like kind of behind my stove area, kitchen counter area, so it doesn't take too much room. And uh, so I cut, I'm going to cut two of these. I'll cut the one and I'll use this piece as a template, mark the other board. And then I'm going to uh, put them up and then make the the little shelf in the front. The front piece I got uh, looks to be maybe three inches high. I'm just going to put it in the front. So I'm going to have shelves on there and then a little bit of front area so whatever you have doesn't fall off. And then for the bedside one, because I don't want to make it too, take too, take up too much room, I've cut these so that they're not as long because you don't want to hit my arm or something when I'm sleeping. So it's going to be up near the ceiling. I'm just going to round it a bit if you can see here. I penciled the marks. <clears throat> Excuse me. I round, I'm going to round it just so it kind of looks nicer. And then I'm going to put inside, I'm going to glue and screw some more wood to make, you know, the shelf. And then in the front, well, the gate will be like this. And there'll be another one over here. Like this. And then I will put the shelf in there wherever I see fit and then the front piece goes along like this so this stuff doesn't slide out so that could be for whatever I decide I'm really really getting uh, really organized you know I've been in this van over a year and as many of you know I had a bus before that but I am just really feeling really more comfortable this is my home as days go by like I mean I remember before when I'd be sitting in my vehicle and thinking you know like trying to get used to I guess a new normal now this is totally normal to me this is my home I feel 
uh, very comfortable but it's funny how as I started like I mean just in, improving this or that or whatever it just the information kind of like comes to me of what's gonna work for me like my curtain back here as you can see you can't even see it's black and and just little things you know the back little magnet the uh, privacy uh, material I always have a problem remembering I got white for the back window so when I'm in the van it is uh, not as dark like even on the other side of this well now my clothes are hanging there so I don't even see this from the other side but it's uh, I guess it's blackout material that's the word all these little things just started to come to me more and more I've just been more and more organized at one point I was kind of thinking you know maybe I should have got a little bit bigger van but then I don't know, just everything just seems to, now um, that I'm getting way more organized, it's making a huge difference. And I thought way back too, is if I could figure out a way of things to do to make it really organized, it would be, like you could do a lot. Like some people make, and they make them all really, really professional looking. Mine's kind of just more or less plug and play, but it works. But ever since I've changed some things around and I have my food storage under the bed, I have that rod across with all my clothes. I have a tiny little IKEA dresser, which is I think 11 and a half inches deep. All these little things have been a huge thing <clears throat> to to make things just like now. I do not look at oh I should maybe have got a bigger van, maybe down the road. I honestly feel so happy with this van, and my bed is plenty like long for any size person. I think unless you're like <clears throat> maybe six foot five or taller maybe have to take out the front seat but I'm telling you my bed's over over six foot I can't remember I have to measure it again and uh, you know you just do little improvements I'm working on the side um, shelves like I said and I'm really excited about that because that is going to be <clears throat> really just that extra bit of storage for things and maybe I'll just get containers that all fit in there nice and store stuff for you know extra I don't know food spices oil whatever but I've changed how I feel big time that I'm extremely happy I've got this little van it's just like a, everything is so organized we're getting more and more every day and uh, it's really good so just wanted to sort of talk about that kind of thing tonight I don't I'm not going to be doing any work in the back like I said till Tuesday but I can use the saws and I think there's there's like a sander there too, so I'll be able to uh, sand the edges and make the, it nice of these of this wooden. And I'm also thinking, I wonder, I wonder if it's a good idea to paint these boards. Maybe, obviously, a light color like white or something because it's such a small space back there. And I wonder if that's a good idea down the road to combat combat any kind of an I like if maybe there might be mold or something. That maybe can get in the wood over the over time. <clears throat> I'm wondering if I should use a I don't know I guess a latex type paint so I'm thinking about that. I have to see because I don't feel I would put any kind of stain because that'd probably stink me right out of here. And there was another thing I was going to talk about. Yeah the other thing was uh, my bed is on a piece of I guess it's kind of like a chipboard it's not plywood it's that it's actually a cheaper version of a plywood type thing but it's all chip I'm going to get a sheet of plywood after I've done my side uh, little shelf organizing thing I'm going to uh, get a piece of plywood and then I'm gonna get a bit that's probably two or three inches round and I'm gonna drill holes all over it for for airflow and underneath the bed I do have those milk crates and all my food in that in there so um, I think with the holes drilled it will give uh, definitely some more a better circulation to combat the chance of mold growing but I know if I stay out of really extreme temperatures like when it was uh, still quite cool or cold I should say and breathing in here and that and, and having the buddy heater, that was really a lot of moisture that was produced. And I want to get one of those Wave 3 heaters, so I 
don't plan on being in the winter months in here, but it's nice to have a heater, who knows, down the road if it's kind of too much rain, and kind of cool, whatever. Things are going good that way, getting things organized, but I know it's funny how a person's mind can change how they think. I can't even believe now it's like I'm not interested in getting a bigger van. This one is just and really good. I have, I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but I... Uh, I have this uh, 120 watt inverter. I got it Canadian Tire, and it was $25. And I can charge my electric toothbrush. I have a cordless drill that needs charging, and anything else like that. I have two USB ports here too, which I change up for charging my phone or my. Uh, my ear Bluetooth things, or uh, you know, my Bluetooth speaker, anything like that that I just have here, and I rotate around. And as I'm driving, actually, I don't even have. The, of course, I'm not driving right now, and I'm charging my phone as I make this video. That has been just awesome for me. Like, I have this light, and I'm actually charging it right now. I've been charging it all day today and yesterday, and it. It has, uh, it's got, uh, it's kind of bright, but anyway, magnets here, and I can magnet to the wall or whatever, anywhere I want, and then when I put this light on, it's quite bright, and then if I wanted just to put the end one on, like a flashlight, I could do that, and you can, it has this hook, you can hang it up, and that is my main source of light. I don't, I'm not in the van, you know, all day and night for days on end I I sleep in there you know you cook uh, you if it's a rainy day depending on where I am sometimes maybe I've had to you know stay in there and do things read whatever but I don't spend a lot of time in the van but that's what I use for light and and to charge things I don't have any solar I do not have even a cooler I find this little van, because I insulated, and you can see other videos that I've done that, um, and now everything's on the floor, things stay cool. And, you know, I'm not buying, uh, you know, months worth of groceries. I buy as I need in that, and that helps too. But uh, it's been really good getting everything set up, and, yeah, as days go by, you figure more things out. It's always something to do. So don't forget to share your smiles and have a fantastic weekend and we'll talk to you in the next video.